morning, everyone. Are you still full from yesterday? Yeah, a little bit. I'm going to work out after Mass. I feel a little bit gross, huh? You know, this gospel is a reminder to us that we could all do a little bit better preparing for Mass, right? What Jesus is challenging us to do is to remember that when we come to Mass, it's the most important thing that we'll ever do in our lives. Sometimes it becomes so common and so routine, but coming to Holy Mass, my friends, is the greatest honor that any of us will have. So Jesus is challenging us this morning to prepare, to maybe look at the readings before you come to Mass so that you could pray over them, or to remind ourselves that we are in the presence of Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament and the Tabernacle of one another. So my friends, this Gospel is a reminder to all of us that the sacred liturgy is so, so very important. And we must do our part in maintaining the reverence and the dignity of the liturgy. I was mentioning before Mass, we have Petty and, I, and Laura and I were in the sacristy. We, we spent about three minutes of silence. Now, three minutes of silence seemed like an hour, you know. And it was really, really beautiful and profound. And I told them before we came out here how, how lovely that was. Because we live in a culture that's full of noise, don't we? Constant noise and we're, we get our cell phones as soon as we wake up and we're constantly connected. So remind ourselves this morning in this gospel that what we're doing is the holiest thing we'll ever do in our lives. Coming to Mass and seeing Jesus in one another and receiving him the Holy Eucharist. So let us never ever take for granted what we are doing and what, why are we here. We're so very blessed to be Catholic. So let's be fed with the Holy Eucharist and go out and bring the joy of Jesus to one another. So what is one way that you could better prepare for coming to Mass? Just something simple. And let's have that conversation with Jesus right now. Please stand. 